we feel uh, lots of threat and uh, we feel fear from the uh, uh, Chinese expanding naval power towards the Pacific Ocean. And uh, so uh, we, we are watching and also we are, uh, uh, and also we have a concern so that we have to talk uh, to make, try to make a hotline with the Chinese Beijing government. Right, but how concerned are you, uh, Mr. Nakayama, at this stage of uh, China's presence in South China and East China Sea? Uh, because China on its part is saying uh, that uh, they, their intentions, rather, at this stage are peaceful. Yes, as you know, uh, you can see that the inside of the South China Sea, there is uh, lots of man-made islands by Chinese. And how about uh, East, uh, East China Sea? Uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, they are, the China doing a unilaterally changing status quo in uh, East China Sea also. So, and also every single day, uh, the Chinese, uh, the, the ships, uh, the Coast Guard vessels uh, try to get into our territorial water. And uh, last, I mean, this October, uh, the one of the Chinese vessels stay our water uh, about 57 hours. And they are chasing with our uh, fisherman's boat. And that this is a very big concern for us. How do you continue to maintain strong defense ties with the U.S. while maintaining good neighborly relations with China? Yes, uh, we are, with the United States, we have a very good friendship and uh, we are allies. So we are continuously uh, doing the exercises uh, with the U.S. And also uh, we, are, we are protecting our freedom uh, inside of the, uh, uh, all the, all the oceans, uh, near surrounded, uh, in, in this region. And also the, we have a uh, lots of, uh, concept, uh, what we call the FOIP, uh, free, open and in Indo Pacific concept. And that this concept, uh, every single country can get together and, uh, uh, try to uh, show, uh, that our, you know, the sea and ocean is a free and open widely to the uh, any countries. And uh, we have to, sure. against to controlled by the, uh, one particular uh, kind of a power to stop that freedom.